The death toll the is highest rising. prices for climate change. change. Forcing communities Since human beings emerged on planet Earth, we have destroyed half of all living matter on it. Our planet is half as alive as it used to be. We've got a crisis on our hands. The, the subheading of, of this uh, report is a global state of emergency. I believe we've got five years to put in place everything that needs to be done. The unprecedented and extreme weather events of 2021 warn us of a domino effect, where the Arctic warms, the ice melts, it switches off the Gulf Stream, which then means there's less rainfall in the Amazon forest, which burns uncontrollably, releasing vast amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So I think there's a 95% chance we'll go to hell in the handcart. We'll go to 4 degrees C or something like that. Those risks don't honour in any way these borders and boundaries that humans have been so carefully crafting over the millennia to decide and organize themselves. As global supply chains become more insecure, we'll have to make sure our cities and regions are more self-sufficient in energy, food and water. An aware and uh, uh, prepared citizenship uh, is the key element, not technology, not being rich. There's a 5% chance we could succeed, and that 5% chance isn't random. That 5% chance is actually a choice. So we can choose to fail, or we can choose to succeed. What makes us uniquely successful as a species is our ability to cooperate. We must now cooperate to create the world we want in a way which regenerates life on Earth. Frankly, if we don't manage this, we are cooked. If the leaders are not willing to do what it takes to put proper things into place that will fight the impacts of climate change, we are going to do it and we are going to show them how it's supposed to be done.